after the Japanese Grand Prix, we got the biggest telltale sign so far that Mar Marquez is wanting to join Grassini Racing. It was from Gigi Dalinia who was speaking to Sky Italia after the race. Mark is one of the strongest riders in history, so the fact that he wants to get on a Ducati can only be pleasing. He has decided to leave Honda for an unofficial Ducati. All the more, this underlines the fact that he wants our bike. When asked by the Sky Italia reporter if this was confirmed, Gigi said, this is what I've heard, but clearly there isn't an official announcement yet. I think there are a lot of things to do, and I think it's a complicated contract that he has to break, in the event that he wants to break it. But it seems to me that these are the declarations made. From our point of view, they are pleasing. It was a great interview and Gigi then went on to say about the concerns they have if Marquez joined Ducati. There is certainly a concern that he could somehow break some balance that exists within the Ducati teams. But this will eventually be a part of the game and it will be up to us to be good at managing the situation. Of course what he means there is that if Marquez comes in and starts winning on the GP23 and beats the factory team that could create of course a lot of internal politics with the Ducati setup as they have so many different teams that are on their machines and essentially Marquez is going on the oldest of all those machines. It's a bit like what we have now at the minute with the GP22 of Marco Bezzecchi fighting against Jorge Martin's GP23 and Paco Bagnaia's GP23. It's a bit different when Mar Marquez comes in obviously as he's been such a rival of Ducati for all those years and Let's be honest, and they don't want to be beat by someone who's just jumped on the bike straight away. Yeah, interesting to see how this one would play out. G the fact that GG's came out and been so open about this to Sky Italia is so fascinating. And it then puts the place on Marquez to respond to this. Obviously, he won't. He said after the race, after finishing third, it was a very romantic podium. What does he mean by that? Is it romantic in the sense that this is his last podium with Honda? In Japan. And yeah. Peko Bagnaia then said in the press conference. After Marquez had responded with those comments. Bye bye Honda. And it was quite the funny thing. To see how Mark would react. He actually didn't really overreact. He just kind of laughed. Which tells you everything. If Mark Marquez was going to stay with Honda. He would simply say he's staying with Honda. There wouldn't be. I have a contract. Just come out and say it. You know, it's so clear now that this is what Marquez's intentions are. But let's see if he can break the contract with Honda first. Because I imagine there's a lot of money involved. But to be honest, and getting the sense from Mar Marquez, money isn't the thing he needs. He needs to win. And that is what drives him. We're very close to, I imagine, to getting an announcement for the next week or two. Maybe during or after the Thailand Grand Prix. So yeah, we'll have everything covered. Make sure to follow us on social media. Make sure to subscribe to Christ MotoGP for more content. And we will see you next time.